All right, guys, I have the child, which means it's time for a Thread Up Fun Box battle. So let's go. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I sell locally at an antique booth and sometimes Mercari and Depop also that we can travel whenever possible. Um, and I also have a really big thread up addiction. So my daughter has agreed to do these fun box unboxings with me. Hopefully she enjoys them. <laughs> so we both have boxes. I let her pick one. Hers is heavier than mine. Uh, they're both from Pennsylvania. They usually have about 10 items in them. I think they're $34 at this point and I don't pay shipping but I pay tax so it's like $36, $38 um, for each box. And I paid full price for both of these. I didn't use any ambassador credits. So let's see who got the better box. I think you're gonna win. She almost always wins. Okay, this is what mine looks like. First glances. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Help. Okay, that's what yours looks like. You want to go first? No. Oh. All right. Well, I got a bra on the top from Juicy Couture. It is new with tags, size 38D. It says two bras on the tag, but it's definitely only one bra so i don't quite know what that means and it is leopard print um, it has the juicy couture spell out on the straps and the retail is 48 dollars kate stay new york i think they're journals notebooks yeah journals two pack kate spade cool hello clover and keep the bag away from babies and children. Suffocation bag, warning. Yeah. All right. There's always socks in these. Um, sometimes multiple pairs, sometimes also tights. These are Alfani Spectrum Women. Four pairs of crew socks. Fits sock size nine through 11. They're from 2013. No retail price, but they are like purple and blue. Is it purple? That's purple, right? I'd say it's like, Magenta. Okay. That works. Tights. See? They almost always sell for me though. Ten times stronger than steel, antimicrobial and water resistant. Ethnically ethically made, not ethically. Ethically made in Montreal. Did you say antimicrobial? Yeah. <laughs> It's antimicrobial or something, yes. isn't it? I Whatever. like your version better though. What size are they? What does it say? Small. Okay. Sheer tights. Sweet. Oh lordy, I'm saving that for later. Okay, I got two pairs of yoga socks. I just recently did a yoga program on the Peloton app. Do they have toes? Yeah, they have openings for your toe beans um, and they have little grippies on the bottom. But I mean, you're not technically supposed to wear socks when you do yoga, but I mean, if you wanted to. These are a size small medium for sizes five through nine and a half. We get a black and a gray. <laughs> Please don't mind the sound of the cat climbing up what her cactus tree. I don't know. <laughs> it says R-E on the little thing. R-E? Um, Is it a scarf? I don't know. <laughs> Try it on. No. <laughs> okay, so unidentified item. This looks like it's Lily Pulitzer. It is Lily Pulitzer, I'm pretty sure. I can't really tell with that clasp, um, but this is very Lily 
esque. It looks like a bracelet and it's like a set gold. Is it gold? My eyes are bad. Gold, yes, tone gold. with this woven through it. So that's cute. I'm sure that'll sell. People love Lily. Not a brand that I would pick up in a thrift store though. Cute. What's the brand? Mm -hmm. It makes a weird sound. Hat attack. Okay. You know you're supposed to wear that for the rest of the video, right? No. Why not? I'm gonna have to. A weird sound. I'm gonna have to do that for mine. Mine's unbranded and it's leopard print, but I don't think this is gonna fit on my big head. No. That hurts. It hurts me already. Is it like pleather? <laughs> yeah, like patent leather. Fake patent leather. Oh, it hurts my head. I can't. I have to break my rule. Good idea. Oh, she's gonna keep all of those. Every last one All of them. of them. She loves bandanas. I got black and green and pink and dark red and tan and purple. Nice. That was a good box for you then. All right, we have a little hair clippy. It looks like something you'd wear to a prom or like a Formal dance. You're never gonna get that out again. Yeah, it's gonna be stuck in my rat's nest forever. It's fine. <laughs> oh, Betsy Johnson. Is it lipstick? Yeah. Yes. And it says X O X Betsy. Is there any money in it? I hope so. I call dibs. A little bit appealing on the inside. Not anything crazy though. Lore. Cool. I'm sure that will sell. I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact thing before. It's from Victoria's Secret Pink. Um, it's a pineapple. It is new. It still has the little plastic over here. Doesn't have. Oh, it does. US $29.95, $30 for this cooler bag. It's got the silica, silica packet in it and everything. Cool. Cool. Or socks. Mountain calling. What's on them? Hello, hello. It's like reindeer sweater pattern. Okay. They're right essence. I didn't know they made socks or clothing. What's essence? For brand. Yeah, but what do they normally make? Makeup, I think. Oh. Um. All right. I'm gonna save that one for later. Another bag thing. This is from Ikea. Ikea. It still has the Ikea tag on it. Don't know how much it was. I'm sure it wasn't a lot because it is Ikea. Um. It's like a, a toiletries bag, I guess. Uh, it's definitely got some wire framing, at least on the top part where the zipper closure is. It's got one little Velcro pocket and one zipper pocket on the other side, so. Socks! Again! Or tights. Hosiery. Sure. My hosiery is bunching. <laughs> My hosiery is bunching. <laughs> Size one, color black, twelve dollars. Dance essentials. It says on the side. I wonder if that's a place that they tried to sell them. It says them, vertical or... open knee high, so socks. Okay. They look like tights. Because they cut the photo off right at the knee. You can like see her knee. Okay, I got another bag thing. Biagi, 22 inch foldable carry-on. I, I don't know what the price is, but. Like a nylon bag with a hole in it, if you can see. Yay! Um, that like folds up easily for travel, but I don't know if I'll even bother listing that to be honest.
Lots of bags in these and socks. What is that? Target made by design. Okay. It's like a backpack thing. Yeah. Top loading backpack. Yeah. So interesting. <laughs> All right, and my last item is from a brand that I heard of through, I think it was Amanda Pruitt. So if you're watching this, thank you for sharing about this brand. She got it in, I think one of her thread up boxes. I don't know which one it was. Um, and I think hers was jewelry. Um, but the brand is Lily Sadoe. Um, this is not jewelry though. It's a hair accessory. Um, I have looked these up before. It also says Lili Sadoe inside, if you can see. Um, I have looked these up before on Poshmark, and they can go for $100 plus, like the heavily embellished ones. This one's just like a shiny black color. No. Not doing it. <laughs> so that's cool. Maybe it'll be a good piece from this box. We'll have to see about that. And it does come with the little pouch. Elephant bag. That's cute. With nothing in it. Is it got a brand in there underneath the no? Nothing. Made in China. Okay. Just made in China. Is that everything in yours? Yes. Alright, so how many items do you get? Are you counting all the bandanas as one? Yeah. Yeah. I got exactly 10. Also, what's your favorite item? Your bandanas? Mine's going to be this headband. Um, but yeah, let us know who you think won. I think these boxes were pretty average for a thread up. Oh, 11. I forgot that thing. Uh, pretty average for thread up because we certainly unboxed quite a few on this channel. Um, I don't think they were anything like amazing and they were pretty even i think um unless this thing really sells for a lot and then maybe i win again like i did with the wonder woman bracelet <laughs> if you haven't watched that video i will link it it's the last thread up fun boxing battle that we had on this channel um but yeah let us know your thoughts who do you think won this one um i would be happy to win again because i never i never win when we do these but it's okay you can win this time thanks <laughs> but that's all we have for this video thank you so so much for watching as always if you enjoyed it at any point please give us a big thumbs up it really helps us out here on youtube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from us you guys seem to like these thread up fun boxing battles someone just commented last week and asked when the next one was going to go up and so it's going up today um but yeah thank you so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here in our weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.